Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a frequency distribution table with proportion and percentage. So this is an example of a frequency distribution table with a column for proportion and a column for percentage. Before we jump into this example right here, let's look at the interval that we have on this first um, column of this table that we have here. Because others are gonna ask like, oh, we have a two tens and we have two twenties, we have two thirties here. Okay, so please remember this, the first 10 that we have here is not included, which means that this is actually 9.999999, almost 10, but I just put that as 10 right there. But this one right here, this 10 right here is included. So these numbers that we have here are included. So if I get 10, I am supposed to tally it under 10 to 20. Because again, this one right here, the 10 is not included. So this 20 that we have here is actually 19.99999. And this 30 that we have here is actually 29.9999. So again, these numbers that we have here are not included. These numbers on the left side of the interval are the ones that are included. So let's take this uh, example that we have here. The data below shows the student scores in a math test. So we're going to tally these uh, data that we have here. So we start with 7. So 7 is between 0 to 10. So I'm going to put the uh, first uh, tally right there. 13 is between 10 to 20. So I'm going to put another one right there. 20. So here, here comes the problem because others are going to think like, oh, do I put that over here or do I put that over here? Because both of these are 20. Now, please remember, this is not included. This is 19.9999 and this is the included 20. So then this 20 shall be tallied on this row. The 23 is between 20 to 30, so I'm going to tally that over here. The 10s, again, others are going to think, oh, do we, where do I put this? That's, not, that's a 10 and that's another 10. Remember, this is not included and this is the included. This is 9.99999 and this is the included 10. So this 10 is going to go to this row. 38 is between 30 to 40, and then 26 would be between 20 to 30, and then 30 would be this 30 right here. Just a reminder, this is 29.999 because this is not included, and this is the included 30. So this 30 is going to go to this um, row right here. And so I will tally the rest of these. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is to count this, all of these. So if I were to count this, the total for this would be 30. And I need to count each of these interval. This would be 4. This would be 8. This would be 10. This would be 8, and this would be, uh, the total for all of these would be 30. Now, to get into the uh, column for proportion, so this is what we're going to do. So in order that we can get the proportion for this, we are going to have the frequency over the total. So that means this is 4, so I'm just going to show the work here, 4 over 30. Again, whatever the frequency is, divided by the total, and so we have 4 divided by 30. So if we do the uh, math on the calculator of 4 over 30, that should give us 0. Point. Let's ha just have this in three decimal places, so that's 1, 3, 3. So it's gonna get re uh, the 3 is going to get repeated, so I'll just round it off to three decimal places. Now, others are going to say, do we have to put it in three decimal places? No, it depends on the problem. So if you're asked to have two decimal places, then you can go ahead and not include the other three right there. So if you have four, just add another three there. So it depends on the problem. So, but in this, uh, for this, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to have three decimal places. So we have uh, the next one here is eight. So in order that I can get the proportion for that, that would be eight divided by the total, which is 30. And so I'm going to use calculator for this. And this would give us 0 0.2. 
two, six, seven. Again, this is rounded off in three decimal places and I will do the rest of them. Okay, so what are we gonna do next is we add all of these. We always remember that we can always check if we did the math right, because the total for proportion will always be one. So if we add all of these, it should come out one. Now, if in any case there's a little difference, like 1.01 .01 or 99 or 0 0.99, then that means it, was, it has something to do with how we rounded it off. But basically, the total for proportion should be one. Now, to get the percentage column right here filled up, what are we gonna do is we multiply this proportion by a hundred so that means 0 0.133 times a hundred would be it's gonna be 13 point um, three percent or pretty much we move the decimal place two places to the uh, right so that gives us 13.3 and so I will do the rest of them here Okay, so again, to get the percentage, we're multiplying the proportion by 100. And so if we add all of these together, it should give us 100%. Okay, so again, this is what we call as the frequency distribution table with proportion and percentage. Okay, now let's use this table that we got from the first slide in order that we can answer these questions that we have here. What is the proportion of students who scored 20 to 30? So I go to the interval, 20 to 30, and I go to proportion, and that is 0 0.333 is the proportion. Now, others are going to say that, so what does this value mean? This value means that if you go around in this class of students and you ask them, the probability that you can ask a student that scored 20 to 30 is 0 0.33. Now let's move on to the next one. How many percent of students scored 10 to 20? So 10 to 20, the percentage for that would be 26.7% or pretty much like 27%. Uh, what does this 26.7% or 27% mean? So if you go around and ask this class, you will be able to get 27% of these kids that you ask will have a score of 10 to 20. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.